In this video, I'll show you how you can use an expression in an advanced action to create a slide replay button. Okay, let's get started here. So, uh, I had a colleague ask about this. They were struggling with their advanced action to create a slide replay button. And I came up with a very simple solution that I think that I'd like to share with everyone. Uh, I think you'll find it uh, simple and useful. And it's a great way to add a little bit more interactivity with your course. Uh, quite often uh, what happens with e-learning is that while users are completing their e-learning training, they'll take a look at uh, some content, maybe get distracted by a manager or a colleague and then realize they've missed the content on the particular slide that they're on. A replay button is a great way to just simply start the slide over at the beginning of that slide. Rather than clicking back and then next, this is a one button solution to that problem. So let's show you how to do it here. I've, I've set uh, everything up. I've got a standard next and back button like you would typically have. Um, I've got three slides of content plus a title page. So I'm going to put the replay button on all of these uh, slide content pages. So let's just select the first replay button and it's currently set up for go to next slide, which isn't what we want. So what we'll do is we'll switch this to uh, execute advanced actions and we're going to create an advanced action. Now this is going to be a standard action. You just need to give it a very simple name. Uh, replay slide or something like that. You can use underscore instead of a space. And what we're going to choose is the command or the action expression. And you can do that just by pressing the drop down menu and hitting the first letter of that word expression until it comes up and then click on it there. And we're going to go to slide. So CP command go to slide equals, and we're going to choose a variable. And we'll just choose variable, not a literal value. And we'll scroll down till we find the right variable that we're looking for. Uh, what we're looking for is... CP info current slide. And what we're going to do is go minus and the literal value of one. Intuitively, you might think this is wrong. It should take you, uh, logically, it should take you to the previous slide, but that's actually not the case. This will bring you to the beginning of the current slide, uh, and it has something to do with the way Captivate numbers slides. Now, what you also want to do is include a continue expression as well so that it continues to play the course from that location. And that's it. That's as complicated as it needs to be. So I'm going to save this as an action and script save successfully. And I'll just close the advanced actions window. And we've got replay slides selected here. And I'll do the same thing for the replay button on the other slides as well. So let me just choose execute advanced action. I don't have any other scripts, so replay slide comes up by default. And we'll do this for the last slide as well. Execute advanced actions, replay slide. Obviously infinite attempts, you, may, you wanna let people not just do this once, but as many times as they need. Let's do a preview and see how this works and how it looks. So I'll just do preview project. And there we are, there's our, our title slide here, and we're just going to click on next. I'm keeping the, the play bar visible so you can see that the replay button is in fact actually replaying the slide. I don't have any narration or, or videos or anything like that, so I just want to show you that it truly is in fact replaying each of those slides. So let's hit next and see how that looks. So here we are on the current slide. It's hit the pause point. I'm just going to hit replay. You can see the title here, content slide one. Replay, replay, replay. It's definitely replaying that slide. I can still go next and back as I would normally. Now I'm on content slide two. 
replay, replay. So you can see that it's definitely replaying that slide for you. So not a problem. Totally works well and it's a very simple solution. Slide three or four in this case, replay, replay, works well. So guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.